Hey everybody, my name is Joe, and for a little while now, I've wanted to put together a video on the Air Force's uh, upcoming implementation of the OCP. Uh, it just so happens that today, or at least the other day, effective 13 July, uh, AFI 362903 was given an update, and it includes a lot of new language pertaining to the OCP. So what better time for me uh, to put something together uh, that I think is a bit more uh, interactive uh, and goes maybe a little bit more in-depth than the uh, one sheets that the Air Force put out. If you've seen that, it's the individual standing at attention wearing the OCP uniform, you got some boxes that uh, tell you this, that, or whatever. Uh, still requires you to dig through the AFI a little bit uh, to see what you know exactly flies and what doesn't fly. And I thought, you know, hey, I got a lot of people out there that I know in the community are super excited to wear the OCP, myself included. And maybe there's some up and coming airmen that are considering joining and they're seeing that we are shifting from the ABU to the OCP. And maybe they too have some questions on uh, what they'll look like, uh, how the uniform is worn. And uh, I mean, uniforms mean a lot to me. I, I went from the BDU to the ABU way back in 07. ABU was uh, something else when it was first issued. Uh, the mat pockets on the inside, the winter weights, uh, I deployed with them. And uh, my counterparts that were out there in the DCUs, wow, was I jealous. Not only were their lapels like way out to their shoulders, but uh, summer weight DCUs with the boonie hats, uh, they look really comfortable and I was miserable. But it is nice to uh, be shifting from a pattern that really didn't serve a purpose uh, to something that, uh, I don't know, I, I, this, this is just way more military looking to me. And uh, the Army's using it, and it seems to be working out pretty well for them. And uh, yeah, the Air Force is getting more uh, joint with the, with the Army, and some of our jobs are, are getting uh, out there with them just as much as they're outside the wire, what have you. But uh, uh, this, is, this is the mindset that uh, the Air Force is, is embracing now, is that we're not all that separate. We're all working together a lot more now than we have been before. So props to General Goldfein and Enlisted Jesus for pushing this, uh, pushing this uh, ahead. And uh, the implementation is, is coming. And I'm super excited. So I thought I'd put this together. Let's go from top to bottom. Uh, some of the new rules that have come out with the AFI, uh, just to let anybody out there who might be curious, hey, you know, what's going on? Uh, I really want to rock this stuff, so what do I need to get? Uh, well, hey, thanks for checking out this video. I'm not a content creator. I'm just doing this uh, just for fun. So don't expect any like crazy, awesome, quick edits and, and screen wipes and other stuff like that. I'm just putting together a video. Anyway, let's begin with a quick modeling shot because I look so dashing in the OCPs. Super awesome. Uh, some of the rules that are in the AFI pertain to the blouse. The blouse cannot extend to the cargo pockets on your pants. That You can't wear them like a nightgown. Can't be way the heck down here. They also can't be higher than the bottom of the side pockets, so they can't be way up here. I think this is uh, a decent length uh, just because you can't get a blouse that's too long here without the sleeves being super long. And that was the problem with my ABU blouse, is that the sleeves are just uh, are super long, even tightened. Uh, it, it's almost past the fat of my thumb. So if we're going to rock this like this, stay at attention, it feels like it's right there. That might be breaking the rules, because it's right there at the bottom of the pocket. But uh, if I were to go any longer, well, then the sleeves would be super long. So uh, I don't know if the uniform board is still going to meet and discuss some of these things because this, uh, that, that might be a little too, a little too stringent at the bottom corner of this pocket. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what they say. Uh, the blouse has Velcro and a zipper, which I've had some difficulty with. Uh, I wouldn't say that zipper is cheap, but it, it's a zipper as opposed to buttons. So whatever. Uh, Patches and rank insignia. The Air Force is going with the Spice Brown, if you didn't already know. The Army called black forever ago. And the Air Force has this. It's kind of, uh, I mean, it matches, but it can kind of be difficult for some people to see. I anticipate a lot of people just being like one of these when they're approaching people because they can't tell if you're an officer or enlisted because all the colors and everything, there's no, uh, there's no sheen or shine unique to an officer's rank on the OCP. It's all gonna be the same, except for first lieutenants and lieutenant colonels. Their rank insignia will be black. Now, initially, I was thinking, you know, it'd be cool if all the officer rank insignia was black, except for butter bars and majors, because the metal rank is brown, and all the other ones are silver. And what we got going on right now with the ABU is 
everything's blue thread except for second lieutenants and majors. So I thought maybe that would translate over to the OCP. All the officers wear black except for the butter bars and the majors. No, it would seem that everybody, enlisted and officer, is wearing spice brown except for first lieutenants and lieutenant colonels. So, uh, I don't know, that, that's just that's the nature of the beast. Um, good luck to everybody trying to uh, you know scrutinize and squint at people's blouses and get that salute up in time. Uh, it's it's going to throw a lot of people off. It's going to be uh, it's going to be funny. Uh, speaking of Spice Brown, we got the name tape right here. I'm not wearing U.S. Air Force right now because I'm not doing this for the Air Force. I am not representing them. This is just me, just throwing some knowledge out there, trying to be as professional as possible. But uh, you'd have Air Force right here, rank here, last name here on the cover. Another name tape right there on the back. And if you're an officer, sewn on the front. Don't cheat and think you can get like a Velcro patch on there and take this and slap it on there. Now, officer rank must be sewn on the cover. When it comes to your name tapes, your Air Force tape and your rank on your blouse and your hat, you can either Velcro them or sew them on. However, they all must be uniform. If you're gonna go Velcro here, you gotta go Velcro all the way. If you're gonna sew on one, you gotta sew them all. I don't know how long the Velcro will stay Velcro-y, but uh, personally, if I dirty up this blouse, I can just take this stuff on, throw it on my other blouse, throw this in the laundry, go about my business. I save a little bit of money not having to take these things in and get anything sewn down. I'm okay with that. This hat is a little different than the ABU hat. I feel like it doesn't go as high as the ABU hat does. And it, uh, I don't know, it just feels different, especially knowing my name's back there. But um, this is this is the look. This is what you got so far. Not too bad, I don't think. Uh, under the blouse, we have a tan 499 t-shirt. The tan shirt must be what you wear starting 1 June 2020. Up until that point, you may wear the typical tan t-shirt, the Air Force tan shirt. So starting 1 October 18, you can wear OCPs to work. Between 1 October 18 and 1 June 2020, you can do this. After 1 June 2020, you have to wear the tan 499 t-shirt. What must be tan is the belt. This is a 511 belt, got an academy, and it is tan 499. So, there you go. Uh, let's see, down to the pants. Uh, nothing crazy going on with the pants. You got your button cargo pockets here. You got some cargo pockets, the button ones in the back there. You got more button pockets down here by the calves. Button fly pockets feel a little smaller here on the sides. Down to uh, the boots and the socks. 1 June 2020, green socks. Nothing but. Green socks will be what you're wearing with the OCP. Up until then, you may wear sand or tan. If you're Air Force, you already have a bunch of green socks. They're authorized. Keep rocking them because eventually they're going to be the only color authorized anyway. So do not get rid of your green socks. Coyote brown boots. Oh, gosh. There we go. Uh, I like these. These are those Nike Gen 2s. They are super light, super comfortable. I rock these at OTS. The, the Sage uh, counterpart. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, I'm still recording. Okay. <laughs> I saw something pop up. I rocked the uh, the Sage uh, V2s at OTS. They uh, they really worked out well, uh, especially because I was used to uh, the composite toe, and these are so light and so comfy. 1 June 2020, you must wear Coyote Brown boots. Up until then, you may wear tan. I don't know where you find tan boots these days, since the Army has transitioned from their ACU to the OCP, they don't much carry tan boots anymore. So we have our green ones, they have these brown ones. If you happen to have a pair of tan boots lying around, more power to you, but 1 June 2020, you must wear these boots of this color and you must wear these socks of that color. Blousing is the same as with the ABUs. You can tuck them into the boot or you can use blousing straps. One other thing, because when I go out, I go out. Cold weather. I don't have the rain jacket yet, but the fleece is going to be this sort of coyote brown color. 
and it's a lot like the ABU Bleece, Bleece, ABU Fleece. You have your name tape, US Air Force, and rank all spice brown. One thing that I forgot to mention that I just discovered reading 2903. Uh, so my mother-in-law gave me this subdued American flag patch. And I knew reading what was released earlier concerning the OCP that of all the patches that you were wearing on your arms, the American flag patch on the right shoulder was going to be a mandatory wear item. But it said it was not going to be full color and it wasn't going to be the same as what the Army wears in garrison, that sort of infrared kind of plastic papery looking thing. It just said it was going to be a subdued color. So I was like, hey, she gave me this a while ago. It's just been sitting around. I can throw some Velcro on this and wear it. It's going to rock, right? The U.S. flag patch is mandatory on the right sleeve and will be subdued using the spice brown color criteria. So no, if you have this sort of sage and black flag lying around like I did, nope, can't wear it. It looks really good too. I was like, yeah, it totally works because you got, you got black and dark green on the blouse. So I thought that would match. Nope. Everything on your OCP blouse will be spice brown. Unless you're a first lieutenant or a lieutenant colonel. You can get your occupational badge sewn on over the Air Force name tape on your left side. That is optional unless you're a chaplain or you have a cyberspace badge or, uh, gosh, what are those other ones? aeronautical or space so that's what we got so far uh this unfortunately sorry mom I, I can't wear this i really do appreciate it i wish i could but i can't uh right now the only place i can find a flag patch that is a spice brown is through aviatorgear.com they're selling them for six dollars each and it is a flag that is spice brown uh, do recall uh, the rules for the flag is uh, imagine the flag is on a post, right? You're not going to hang the flag. Oh, you're not going to hang the flag up like this or anything. So it's always going to be stripes away, stars up front. So it's going to be on your right shoulder. Make sure that you get the right flag patch. It's got to be stars up front because that's how a flag would be hoisted on a staff or on a post. All right. So for those of you who aren't familiar with how these things work. That is why the flag is worn on this shoulder in this fashion, because if it were hoisted up, that is how it would fly in the air. So if you're gonna go out getting patches for your OCP blouse, make sure you get the right orientation. Uh, other than that, that was really the intent of this video, was to put my OCPs on again, because I love these things. I can't wait to wear them. One October, 2018, since morale shirts are going away, I'm thinking every Friday, I'm just gonna walk into work wearing this and be like, what's up guys? I look cool. Where you at dog? I don't know. So yeah, I think this will be my new morale shirt, morale outfit, what have you. If anybody has any other questions on uh, the OCP uniform, uh, leave a comment, send me a message or something. I'll do whatever I can to help you out. Uh, do a Google search on AFI 362903. They just put an update out 13 July uh, with a lot of this language incorporated in. But uh, this is the future of the Air Force, my friends. Like I said, General Goldfein and uh, Enlisted Jesus, they really came through. And, and we, are, we are moving ahead with a uniform that when I put this on, I really, I feel military. I, I feel like, yeah, this is, this is it right here. So really excited uh, to wear this uh, outside. Looking forward to, uh, to rock the Spice Brown. Uh, more to come. Uh, it says on the memo from AFPC or whoever at the uniform board uh, still has some things to discuss. I don't know if that pertains to the OCPs or to some of the other things that they passed. Like uh, females, there's no minimum hair length anymore. Ain't that something? Males, you can wear earrings off duty on base as long as you're not in uniform. That's new. Males, it was no piercings at all. That changed. Uh, sunglasses, the... I, uh, the, the emblem, the logo, it doesn't have to be some flat uh, white or gray. It can be, it can contrast with the color of the frames as long as it's not too crazy. 
And another change, they went back on the colors of the uh, underclothes and PT gear. You can only wear uh, white, gray, blue, or black now. You can't wear patterns, you can't wear any crazy spandex colors uh, under your PT gear. They went back to like three or four basic solid colors. So a lot of new changes to this AFI. Highly encourage you guys that are in with me to get in the AFI, dig up some of this information for yourselves and for your troops. And for those of you who are considering joining the Air Force, uh, this is what we're gonna be wearing here soon. And uh, if you like what you see, uh, hit up a recruiter and uh, ask him what it's like. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll put a video up. Uh, I've been in a little over 12 years, just made the switch from E to O, and Air Force has treated me really, really well. And uh, I am excited uh, to be, once again, rocking a new set of threads to work. But hey, this is okay. I was sort of downtrodden when we were switching from the BDUs, but I am excited to be switching to the OCPs. Uh, so once again, uh, I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, it's YouTube. So just type it out and I'll see what I can do for you. Hopefully this video isn't truncated. It's like 16 minutes. I don't know if I'm allowed to upload a video that long. Anyway, see ya.